Reuters. The state of Texas is preparing for what may be the worst storm to hit the state in nearly 50 years as Hurricane Ike moved within hours of striking the densely populated Texas coast near Houston with a possible 20-foot wall of water. Forecasters say Ike is a Category 2 storm and will likely come ashore as a dangerous Category 3 with winds of more than 111 miles per hour. Secretary of Homeland Security Michael Chertoff. We're estimating uh, several million households could be affected. And if you look at the experience we had in Rita and, and in Katrina, uh, that would seem to be you know, a pretty reasonable expectation. So serious is the threat to coastal areas that the National Weather Service is warning that residents not heeding evacuation orders may face certain death. I urge my fellow Texans to listen carefully to what the authorities are saying in uh, Galveston County or parts of Harris County up and down the coast. Uh, we'll be mo monitoring this situation very carefully. The federal government will not only help with the, you know, the pre-storm strategy, but once this storm passes, we'll be working with state and local authorities to help people recover as quickly as possible. Already hundreds of thousands have fled the island city of Galveston, and nearby low-lying counties are under mandatory evacuation orders, making matters even worse a slew of oil refineries located in Galveston Bay that account for around 12 percent of U.S. capacity are in the storm's likely path. I cover some 40 percent of the Gulf of Mexico and the effects of the storm are already being felt onshore and forecasters say the worst is yet to come. John Decker, Reuters.